What's up guys? For today's video, I'm working on the aluminum subfloor for the Jumbo build. I've went ahead and sealed up all the rivets from the inside using Glovit. If you've seen the previous video, the exterior of the boat is painted with uh, Rust-Oleum topside. The inside I've just been using this black high performance enamel. All I'm doing is just going through, spraying the ribs down right where the epoxy is. That way the epoxy is protected from UV light. That's the main thing that can damage epoxy. All right, so to get started, these are the tools and supplies I'm gonna be using today. Basically, it's gonna be one and a half inch, one sixteenth aluminum angle. Just some measuring tools, a hand rivet. I'm using pop rivets. I have half inch grip rivets and quarter inch grip rivets. I'll see which ones I actually uh, end up using. So I'm gonna start with getting this front support riveted into the boat, and then we'll go from there. I'm gonna rivet down from the top first because I want this to be level. First piece is in. Now, obviously, be careful when you're drilling through your ribs. You don't want to put a hole in your floor. I actually went out today to buy some cheaper, just regular pop rivets. They didn't need to be closed end. Twice as much for these at the store than it was to order closed end rivets online. So I just ordered another set of closed end rivets. Even if I don't need them on the inside, at least I have them when I need to, and there's no downside to using them. Okay, before we work on setting up the side bracing, I'm gonna put another rivet on this side here. Now I need to cut some risers that are gonna rivet into the brace and into the rib to give it vertical support. All right, so let's go ahead and cut this off and see if it fits. So to cut this off, I'm just gonna use a chop saw with a fine tooth blade. Uh, I do have my shop vac hooked up to the back of it to hopefully reduce the amount of metal shards that we're getting all over the garage. Okay, pretty good. Perfect. So with that uh, clamped in place, I'm gonna go ahead and put my first rivet down at the bottom here. And I'm gonna take the clamp off and then put my second rivet into the brace. Now, just to really strengthen this up, I'm gonna do one more right here and the other side and this back brace will be done. I'm gonna put this valve right here between these two ribs. Get my line. Go ahead and cut there. All right. So right now, I'm gonna go ahead and measure my rib lengths for each rib, get all my angle riveted into place, and then I'll start working on the braces. Perfect. All right, with the first two supports secured, I'm gonna go ahead and knock out the rest. I'll check back in once I've made some progress. Overall went pretty well. I had one issue with the corner over there because I decided to try and use a longer grip rivet just to see if it would make a difference in any way. And it just turned into a complete disaster. I ended up breaking my rivet tool. It was a mess. So I have about two more rivets to put in the fronts to those two. I'm gonna go ahead and order up a new rivet tool and I'll be able to get back out here and finish this up. All right, so I'm back out here the next day after the ridiculous end to last night with my rivet tool failing. I think it's finally time to retire the $5 Harbor Freight rivet gun that lasted me almost two boats. And I'm upgrading to this guy. Also from Harbor Freight, only about 18 bucks, but it seems to be a lot better quality and I really like the hand style on it. I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to get a little bit more leverage when I'm doing those one-handed rivet closes. 
pretty good. One thing I did like though, is that this is all done through thumb screws. So to change the tip on it, which I need to do, just swap it over. All right, well, first thing first, I need to finish up this corner here. This got all fouled up with a uh, stuck rivet and all kinds of stuff. Boom, perfect. All right, let's go ahead and get the other side done. Okay, so with the last couple of rivets in that front brace, uh, all of the horizontal braces are complete. All right, so I went ahead and I got all the brace supports cut and positioned where I wanna put them. Instead of doing three supports, you know, one, two, and three, I'm gonna try just two and see if that gives it enough rigidity to give it the support that it needs. Generally, you want support every foot of angle. And if you measure this out here, you know, that's about 12, that's about a foot in, 13 inches. All right, well, first things first, let's go ahead and get these cross brace supports riveted in, and then we'll go from there. Two days, about five hours, and two rivet guns later, I finally have the basics of the subfloor complete. These cross braces are super solid. I mean, there is absolutely like no flex on the cornered end of the angle on any of the braces. Um, the two braces worked out really well. They're evenly spaced about 12 inches down. So before we get started on setting up the foam for the flooring, I wanted to install a center cross brace just to give this a little bit more weight distribution when you're standing on it. Um, the way I'm gonna do that is just use the one piece of angle. I'm gonna notch it out for where the horizontal braces are so it can actually roll down and then just rivet it in place. Since I'm already in here with this uh, center cross brace going, I'm just gonna attach a couple more supports at the joints, um, connecting the joint to the bottom of the floor. There is a horizontal brace going back and forth. There's the vertical brace going down the boat and they're all tied together by a vertical support. And then they all have the intermediary supports in between the edge of the rib and where it starts to slope down. So it's being supported here, here, the middle, and then the ends. This is now a very solid subfloor that I am more than confident to start setting up the foam and adding the floor to. So if you guys found this video helpful, don't forget to let me know by hitting that like button. If you want to follow along with the John Boat build and see what happens with the floor and the rest of the build, don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching. So uh, just a quick update on this rivet gun. I really, really like it. I didn't think I was gonna because the handle was kind of short, but it feels like you can pull more of the stem out of the rivet with less travel on this. I'm not sure uh, how they did that, but it's actually really good. I like the pistol grip on the front. This gives you really good, uh, really good grip on it. And overall, it just worked out really well. Uh, one little thing I did was I sprayed some silicone on the inside there, just where all the springs and everything were, which just makes this, you know, move so much easier. Uh, and it made it really pop the rivets nice. So if you guys are in the market for a new rivet gun, uh, I got this one at Harbor Freight for about 20 bucks. Uh, there's also some on Amazon that are almost identical to this that I was gonna buy, but uh, I needed it quicker, so I just ran out and bought it. But I'll throw a link in the description if you guys wanna check it out.